Okay, I've decided that the best course of action for us is to attack Great Britain, which is why I built a lot of troops and ferried them over here, and we're going to attack. Now I left my other troops over uh, in this area, because we are soon going to start attacking in here. And we do want to fight Ming again, but Ming has a truce with us, it's a pretty long one. We'll have to work hard to get them in time. Uh, but we'll still have other stuff to do here. We need to beat these guys up, we need to fight Ottomans again, we need to fight Russia again. Uh, but the biggest uh, problem that we haven't fought uh, yet, or at least in a while, is Britain. And we do need to deal with Britain now. And if we need to, we can always start truce breaking later on. So, um, yeah, I ferried them here before the war, because the British have a very strong navy. Uh, I went a bit over the force limit, but it won't be a problem with our income. So, um, yeah, let's attack. Also, we do have a little bit of a rebel problem. Uh, wait a minute, I should sort this somehow. Uh, with the particularists. Uh, but hopefully, when the overextension is done, which will happen soon, it will no longer be problematic. So, uh, I guess I could wait a bit longer, add some provinces to the Empire, and so on. But I think the most uh, pressing issue right now is to just get on with attacking. So, let's attack Great Britain! Um, oh, we can call in the Papal State. And Aragon will be called in as well. Aragon, we have a truce until 52. Aragon, hmm, I'd like them to be co-belligerent, but it doesn't seem possible right now. Also, it doesn't matter if they're co-belligerent or not. It's gonna take a while. Okay. Oh, right, I'd gladly fight you as well. I think I'll have to attack Tlemkin, though, just so we can access your territory. Okay, I think it's time to go. I'm gonna call you and you as co-belligerent, but first let me check your allies. The Pope is allied to Britain and Aragon, and you are allied to Britain. No problem here. Okay. Um... One, two, and of course everyone is called in on our side. And I will mostly be stealing the British colonies, but I do want to have some more land over here. Let's uh, go! London is the war goal, and also London is, coincidentally, right next to our huge, huge armies. Now I could theoretically go through here. Actually, I will go through here. Which of you has the best siege value and also some decent other stuff? You do. You are going to London, you are going next to him, and you guys are staying here as reinforcements, temporarily. You probably s slow down to speed 3. The game is running pretty slowly because, uh, because of how many countries are involved. Okay. Uh, now, if you have a look, not only did their allies come in, but also their colonial nations. Which means we're going to have to start working on conquering some of them as well. Uh, let me check that again. And I do have some troops in the New World, not a lot, but it'll be sufficient to get this going. Uh, so, I, sh I could do one of two things. I could go for fort or, or I could go for carpet sieging. But with, with colonial nations, forts are more important because I can get all my war score from just uh, occupying the British Isles themselves and then I only need forts to be allowed to take land in the area. And that's pretty much it. Okay, and this war will probably be rather uneventful because of the force uh, balance. The troops here don't really have anything to do. The troops in North America we will have a lot of work for. And I guess I'll be attacking Tlemkin as well. Do we have a truce? We do not. Okay, I'll wait a month and then attack them. Uh, but I will stop the recording here because, you know, the game runs slowly because of how many troops are involved. And I don't expect anything too interesting to happen. Uh, they cannot stand against our armies. And if somehow they try, I will resume recording. Back soon. Alright, London has fallen. It did cost us quite a lot of manpower because I did stack them up here for the plus 8 bonus for the cannons and to be safe from attacks. Theoretically I could have, you know, held the cavalry back and so on, but there comes a point at which being optimally uh, effective 
and not losing any troops because of attrition and stuff like this doesn't matter anymore. Okay, uh, also I declared war on Plemkin and finished some cores, so two colonial nations formed. Uh, there will be one more here when the cores are done. I've sent our troops through the deserts, well desert, not deserts, uh, wastelands it's called, right? No, wastelands are the ones you can't use. Uh, uncolonized provinces, let's call it that, uh, to get here because I couldn't get past this area. It belongs to Portugal, unfortunately. Also, I'm conquering some forts up here. That's pretty much everything. I'll start piecing people out soon. Separately. Well, I mean Aragon and the Pope. The rest, well, it will take a while for us to have access. Also, um, it will take us a while to get enough land from Tlemkin to be able to move into air as well. Which we will want to do. Also, we are about to have our truce with Russia expire. And um, I think it's no surprise that I'll just, I will just attack them. They have no allies and they're surrounded by our troops. Okay, let's do some fighting. And yeah, I'll be cutting the video soonish because it runs very slowly when there are so many troops in the game. Ooh, double traded leader. Cool. Now um, let's get another fort, shall we? Yeah, right, I'm back here. And yeah, I'm not using merchants. Um, I could. It's not necessary. We have so much money, I'm over the force limit. I'm loving it. Just uh, have too much on my mind to spend precious brain power to figure out where to send the merchants. Um, I guess I'll just take care of the forts. A 50,000 army should be enough to fight any threat. I might be wrong, they might be hiding a huge army up here, but I don't think I am. I guess I could check the ledger. Military and total. Oh, it is sorted by total. Great Britain, total 78,000, so they could be hiding an army that would be a danger to us. It's not a likely, but it is a possibility. Maybe I should stick to this area then. Just until we can concentrate our forces. Although, how how strong is the defense here? It is pretty strong. Okay, I'll do it differently. The inferior general will stay and the superior general will go. This way, if he needs to defend, he should be okay. Unfortunately, um, for, formally, technically, I'll be the attacker if they if they catch us here, um, in which case I will get a penalty, probably. But this is my best general. We should be okay anyway. This piece of succession doesn't concern us anymore. Okay then. Any enemy troops? No, but I will have to observe the area. It will take us a while to conquer the forts here, and then I can proceed to do some carpet sieging. Uh, once we're done with Aragon, which will happen soon... Um, oh, right, uh, this, uh, this broke away from Aragon, didn't it? Once we're done with Aragon, I can quite safely attack some other people. Oh, right, I have a mission to conquer Corsica, don't I? Why don't we attack them as well? There's no point in not doing that. Anyone else in the area who is not our subject yet? Anyone I'm missing? Well, there's Tunis, but we don't have a good connection to them right now. There's no hurry. Same with Cyprus. Although Cyprus... Well, I guess I could just attack Cyprus. Someone will land there eventually. And we will be attacking Russia. Um, we will be able to handle all these wars simultaneously. And when all of these here are handled, I will start moving into Ava, uh, Persia, Gujarat, Bamanis, Bengal, and Malaya. Malaya is actually going to be quite problematic. I'll have to fight them two or three times, depending on the situation. So we, sh we should get going on that as well. Is this fleet strong enough to protect my ships if I wanted them to land in Malaya? Yes, it should be. Do you have allies? Ottomans! Interesting. Well, I wouldn't want to fight Ottomans 
um, if they're not co-belligerent. So the war against Malaya will have to wait until I can do that. On the other hand, would they join? I'm not sure they would. Anyway, I'll put a cut in here and do some sieging and do some sieging and do some sieging. I'll see you in a moment. Quick update. Got some progress on the wars. All of them, basically. Done with another siege in Britain and about to have a battle. Still sie sieging over here. Um, some fighting. Going pretty well. Same here. And I have decided we're going to start some more wars. I'm going to attack Russia soon because our truce is going to be over. And our subjects are in a very good position to beat them up. And I am also going to attack Malaya. We have to start that at some point. And I've already gathered the troops. I've put half of my forces on the ships here already. I'm sending them over here and when they're ready to land I'm going to declare the war. We should be able to withstand any naval attack. If we're not, well, we'll just retreat and attack them through Ayutthaya later. But I think we'll be okay. Alright, anything else we should worry about? I don't think so. How's my war exhaustion? There isn't war exhaustion. Oh right, I also took another level of admin tech, which increased my admin efficiency. That's gonna be quite helpful. I could get more states, but I really don't want to deal with that right now. I guess I could send out the merchants. But you don't want to see me fiddling with merchants, do you? Let's have a look at the battle. Oh, they changed their mind. Well, I don't blame them. Um, I'll use this army to do some sieging over here until this uh, fort is taken care of. Right, let's just have a quick look. How good is your force? How good are your troops? They're worse than mine. They could still pose a danger if they concentrated all, all uh, their forces on one of my armies, but they're clearly not doing that. So that's not going to be a problem. Mm, now, to be safe, cautious and smart, we're not going to do a proper carpet siege, just a sort of a carpet siege. That'll be enough. All right, um, also, we can probably sign a peace deal with Aragon right now. 66 war score. How much will you give me? Not that much, to be honest, but I'm fine with the smaller peace deal because we still have to pay them, you know, we still have to pay, uh, what's the word, diplo points for the peace deal since uh, they are, uh, they're not the main combatant and also they're not co-belligerent, so I can't take too much from them. So I guess I'll be satisfied with the smaller peace deal. Uh, same with the Papal State one, once we're done with this siege over here. Okay, back soon. It's time to attack Malaya. Shouldn't be too difficult, they're out with the Ottomans and the Ottomans will not join them. The Imperialism, here we go. Now they do have quite a lot of troops, but I am stronger, quite clearly. So I'm gone. Mm, still, I guess I could unload them to different places, but that would be very slightly risky. So I'll just send them all here. Yeah, we're in a sea battle, but that will also not be problematic. Their fleet can't handle our fleet. Well, to be honest, our fleet is not very strong, it's just there's, it's just there's a lot of it. As you can see, that was not problematic. Now, they do seem to have the capability of causing trouble for us, so I will have to be cautious about that. Oh, another siege is done. Oh, you guys should help out here. Right, let's go back to Malaya. And our attack on them. Please stop messing with my ships. Okay, another siege. As you can see, there is quite a lot to keep track of. 
We are fighting on many fronts. I have not sent my troops to Africa, which might have been a mistake. I will have to focus a bit stronger on Africa in the near future if I, uh, if I am to succeed in everything. Also, we are going to need to annex some territory from the Pope now. Um, I guess I'll just transfer it to my subjects. And I'll do that off camera because that takes time. Right, back soon. Okay, I have composed the peace deal for the Pope. It's quite simple really, I'm taking the two provinces that can be easily released as new countries once we, uh, you know, call them and make, add them to the Empire, which I will do eventually, I guess, and we're giving the rest to our subjects and they will be left with Umbria and Ancona. That is pretty much it. Also, yeah, we have, um, we have declared war on Malaya. There's gonna be some stuff happening there. I could take some money or anything like that, but we really don't have to. Okay, send demands. Yeah, it takes a while if you have to process so much data. And the truce with Russia has ended. Oh, I smell a new war. So let's make sure we start coring everything. Yeah, this is... Uh, I had one more province here, uh, but it was occupied by rebels and broke off as Ethiopia. We're going to get them eventually. Right, how are we doing in Tlemkin? I need more troops here. Uh, we'll sign a peace deal with Aragon once we take this province here, and I guess I'll have to give Corsica some personal attention once my troops from over here are not busy anymore. Okay, let's have a look at Malaya before we uh, break the recording. They do have a big fleet that could possibly endanger us. Um, but I really don't feel like it's gonna happen. Come on, come on. Yeah, as you can see, the game runs very slowly when you have over a hundred vassals in the same war. So if you decide to go this route, have that and keep that in mind. Right, let's send our ships over here, pick up these troops, and then pick up these troops, and go back to taking care of Malaya. For now, I will leave them all here in the same province. Uh, they will suffer some extra attrition, but they will take care of uh, the siege faster. Although, do I need to? Yes, yes, I need to. I can't move them away from here even if I wanted to. Also, I guess I could do the merchants, finally. No, not on camera. And maybe off camera, but also maybe not. Alright, let's do it. I'll just collect in some places here, and I'm collecting here. It really doesn't matter. I'm making like a thousand per month. Okay, there's quite a lot of trade by here. Let's just collect. If there's no need to direct trade to some places and, you know, optimize everything, then I really don't feel like it. Okay. Because there's nothing we can spend money on anymore. I guess I could get a bit more mercenaries, but it's not worth the hassle. As you can see, we're getting quite a bit from our lovely, lovely vassals. Maybe I will get some more mercenaries. We'll see. For now, sending the fleet back to get some more troops, sieging and beating up England, and coring stuff over here. I guess, yeah, when we're done with England, I will focus a bit more on Africa, and also, right, I almost forgot, Russia. Ha. Hello, uh, where's imperialism? Yeah, it's a bit better. Um, so, uh, your time has come, Russia. Well, I'm not going to annex you in this war, but um, I will soon enough. And I do have quite a lot of subjects that are very eager to have a bite of your territory. They do have quite a lot of troops, but um, having a war so close should mobilize my guys here to attack them. Actually, why are you so passive? I give you no focus. Maybe that was a mistake. Let's make everyone aggressive. Will that make a difference, or should I make you a siege? We'll think about it. Anyway, 
Are you guys moving? You are moving. Yeah, I should have made them aggressive from the start, probably. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put a cut here. And get ready. Well, I don't think I'll be starting any new wars, apart from the ones we just did start. I will probably wait for the truce with Ming to be over before I start any new ones. So when we finish these, I will rest for a bit. I'll let my subjects recover, I'll core, I'll make more subjects, and so on and so forth. Okay, that'll be it for now. See you soon! And we've got a battle against Malaya. Oh, I wanted to show it. Apart from that, not much is happening. I'm finishing the transport of troops, and then we'll just cut through Malaya, taking some land from them. Um, still don't know if I'll give it to someone or take it for myself. I'll probably just feed it to a subject. Um, what else? What else? Well, we will be focusing on Plemkin uh, soonish, as soon as we're done with Britain. Although, no, that's actually not correct, because I will not have the opportunity to move my troops back, probably. Because they have a naval dominance, so I won't be able to do that. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll have to rely on my subjects doing all the work. Um, oh, actually, I can sign a peace deal with Aragon now. Maybe we should. Can I make you release someone? I could make you release Castile. But I could do that myself right now. I guess I could take Madrid for myself and then maybe release Castile if I added it to the Empire. All right, mm, the rest I can give to some other people. Where is your capital? It's in Zaragoza. Okay. So that's, that's Quince. Yeah, I will give that to them. Uh, here you go. Mm, what else? Occupied by Catalonia. Should it be Catalonia. Yeah, we'll take that from... You know what, let's clear this. We'll take this for ourselves, we'll give these to you. Well, oh, I can't take Madrid. That's a pity, I wanted to. Let's forget Castile then. So I'll just do some feeding. This is occupied by me, but we'll give it to... La Mancha, because we like the name. Uh, right. Oh, wait, 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 wrong. Uh, ah. I don't know why I kept clicking the wrong button. Uh, La Mancha, here you go. And I guess I could give this or this to someone else. This is Imperial, so I don't have to give Madrid to any... I don't have to take this one, I can just take Madrid for myself. Okay, that'll fix it. Yeah, that's it for Aragon. We'll have to fight them again. And having taken Madrid, we core it and add it to the Empire, I'll be able to release Castile, if I want to. If we go to coring... Perf oh, crap. This automatically went back to them. I wanted it for myself. Eh, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Now, Britain is now unwilling to fight. But we still, mm, we still haven't occupied all of, their, mm, all of their subjects, and air is still in the fight. So we'll have to drag this on longer. Russia is getting beaten up quite beautifully. No need to worry about anything there. Uh, same will happen to Ming once uh, they are you know, attacked, because they will no longer have a truce with us. Now let's uh, watch this battle. Oh, they actually have pretty good forces. Mine are better, but they're, they're are almost as good as mine, and I am at a disadvantage when it comes to terrain. So theoretically, if I get very unlucky, they could win. It would only be a temporary victory, because my troops are about to arrive here. Oh, seems like they will win. Interesting. I underestimated you, Malaya. Oh, okay, pause, pause, pause. Hmm, I guess I'll retreat you over here. Or, when will you arrive? First of May. You won't hold on for that long, will you? Nope. 
I'd rather they now don't do a shattered retreat, so let's just do it manually. And then I can use these guys to beat them up. Do you have a good general? Uh, relatively good. Good enough, I'd say. They have not fully recovered their morale, and we have twice as many troops, so now this is not going to be a problem anymore. And you can go and siege stuff. Okay, as you can see, the game is running really slowly. I hope the sound is recording right. It could go either way, I guess. But really, you, you do have to understand that the game has to make decisions for so many small countries. This uh, increases the processor load significantly, if I understand the game's uh, work, uh, how the game works correctly. I might also not understand this correctly. Now you go here, and then you go here. Okay, mm, I'll put a cut in here from continua sieges and attacks and everything. Now, Aragon is at war with... What the hell is going on here? Oh, cool! Aragon went back into the war. Because they were allied with um, Corsica. I am very happy with that, although that means I will not be able to continue covering Madrid. That's not really a problem for me. I'm I'm quite pleased with the turn of events here. Okay. Let's take a break. Quick update. We're almost done on the British Isles, because when we're done here, we won't really be able to either reach Ireland or return to the main uh, European continent, so our war with Britain will have to, you know, end relatively soon. I might... I might sign a separate peace with air, because we're a bit far from them. They're not willing to sign a separate peace, but uh, that will change eventually. Uh, because uh, we're really advancing very slowly through Tlemkin. That is partially Aragon's fault, and we're going to punish them very soon. Uh, am I covering everything I should be covering? Yes. Yes. And this is also looking good. Okay. Not much to worry about. We'll finish the other wars off when we're done with Britain, because uh, then we can actually operate a fleet. Russia is going through our territory, doing a little bit of a carpet siege. Uh, but it doesn't matter much, since our subjects will soon own all of their territory. Anything else to mention? Hmm, not sure. I don't have to worry about that, that'll destroy my prosperity a bit, but... Who cares, really? Okay, let's destroy these guys. Oh, they've retaken quite a lot of territory down south. We'll have to go back there. Uh, theoretically, Britain would probably uh, accept a peace deal, maybe even a decent one, but uh, there is no need to hurry. We need to push their overextension as much as possible. Ooh, there's some serious rebellions, and here as well. Unfortunately, I don't think I can do anything about it. It's not my fault our subjects are shit at managing rebels. Okay. Corsica. The war with Corsica is uh, being won, but only because we are occupying Aragon. Uh, we'll get out of the war and, you know, finish them off once we get our fleet back. Once the fleet is available again. Speaking of fleets, I guess I'll use you to speed up the siege over here. Perfect. Who has this pure succession? Tapuya. What's Tapuya? Here. I'm really not that interested in this pure succession. Over there. Okay, we'll have to end our war with Britain soon. Because there's only so much war score we can actually get. Without launching a full scale assault of all their colonies. Ooh, national unrest reduction. That's going to be helpful. Yeah, we attacked in the mountains, but... Oh no, technically they attacked in the mountains. Perfect. 
Okay, do you have any other forts I could siege? Yes, you do. But I can't get there. Why can I not get there? Are there other forts I haven't noticed? Oh, right. They still haven't reset after the battle. That's what happened. Okay, then. I think it's high time we put in a cut. We'll finish off our sieges up here, uh, push Britain to the highest overextension we can, then maybe sign a separate peace with the hair, even if it has to be a white peace, um, and peace them out, and then gradually peace out all of the others. Oh, Scotland exists. I'll have to take care of that. And so does Norway, actually. Yeah, I'll need a stronger fleet in the area. I should probably start building one, but we'll do that off camera. Oh, right. Uh, back soon. Okay, time to peace out Aragon. Uh, yeah, it all goes to my subjects. Also, I have commissioned a fleet. A fleet that's going to drain quite a lot of money. But I do need a second strong one around this area. Well, I don't desperately need it, but it's going to be helpful. So you guys should probably help this siege out. And that is about it, really. Russia is still holding on, but it won't uh, it won't take much longer for them to be destroyed completely. Well, not completely yet, but you know, soonish. I'll feed. Uh, I will feed them to my subjects. Um, what else? What else? We are doing. Uh, we're ha we're making great progress in Malaya. Uh, maybe Bamanis will be the next one. Who knows? That might actually make sense to do that. We can attack Lanna or Ayutthaya because they're tributaries, and that would trigger a non cobelligerent war with Ming. We wouldn't want that. Um, so I guess I will have to wait for the truce with Ming to expire, attack them as a cobelligerent participant, and then I can just start attacking their tributaries and have them as non cobelligerent and keep beating them since they will have no forts, since I will take all the forts they might have built in the meantime. If they did build any, which they might not have. No, no, they... Really? Did they not build any forts? Well, I guess I'll have to fight them fully co-belligerent anyway, because uh, we have waited quite a long time already and it would be a waste to not wait five more years just to get double the amount of stuff we would get from them otherwise and um, yeah we also need to attack the Ottomans soon if we uh, want to get what we need from them which is everything Mali can wait a bit Mexico might be a target soon but we also need to attack Portugal our priorities right now are Ming uh, and Ottomans and then probably Portugal and Britain again, because we won't be able to take all we want from Britain. And that is Aragon accepting the peace deal. Now, they were non cobelligerent again. It did cost us some uh, points again. Um, and we will finally start coring Madrid, because we couldn't do that since we were at war before. Uh, as for Corsica, we're still at war with them. We will send troops over there. When we have the time. We don't really have the time right now. I hope someone would go and deal with Cyprus for me. Who could do that? Who could do that? How about Sweden? Sweden, you want to go to Cyprus? They should have a fleet. Or Catalonia. Should work, maybe. Uh, right. Anything else? I can convert some provinces. Okay, that's about it. I'm going to put in a cut here and progress into wars a bit and then return to you with an update. Time to sign a peace deal with Malaya. I tried giving it to many, many different countries, but then I had to unpause for a moment and they just gave it back to me. So I rewarded those that didn't. So it's gonna go to Bosnia, Astrakhan, Albania and a little bit to Alsace. Like that. I guess I'd take one here if I could. No, we don't have forts and stuff. Okay, give me that as well. 
and that will go to me. And that is it when it comes to Malaya. Unless you want to give me this one. You will not accept this one. Hmm. I guess I don't need it at the moment. Okay, let's end the deal. And we did it so that we can walk across here. Although it's not going to be a problem because we do have a strong fleet. Uh, still, the fleet was slightly damaged. They attacked us and we had to run. Because this is a transport fleet primarily. Okay, there will be some fighting here soon. But for now, let's have a look at Russia. Now, uh, this, is, this is not a piece deal I want. It's just some shitty stuff. I just wanted to get 100%. To see when they will be ready to accept. Let's wait. Maybe when this ticks, they will. And if not, I'll stop recording because it's going to take a while. I would like to take 100% war score and war score, and most importantly, I'd like to take all the forts that they own, so that they can defend themselves in the next war. Also, my fleet seems to be ready, but when I send them to assemble, they'll probably get intercepted by the British. I could try and be very careful, and I don't think it will work. So I think we'll have to do a suboptimal deal with the British. Still, the deal with the British can wait. We are not in a hurry, and we don't, haven't capped on uh, the war score from 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 the war goal yet. Um, a good, a good turn of events might be that we don't actually need to beat those guys, since they are at war themselves and they are eager to peace out. So let's do that and see how our war score changes. 55. That is enough to take some serious land, but I will still wait a bit so that we can... Um, war exhaustion is, isn't really gonna change much, but we still don't have the maximum uh, amount we can get from controlling London. I think the max... Is it maximum 25 or 30? Maybe it's 20, I don't know. Uh, I never remember those numerical things. I will check, and then we will probably send a peace deal, because I've had enough of this war. Uh, there will be more wars with Britain, but uh, this time I will be better established on the Isles, and I will have a stronger fleet for the next one. I would like to take Ulster. I guess it's probably impossible, yeah. I need to go there first, and they do have a ship in the area. Just one, but still. Okay, I think I'm going to have to take a break from the game, have some coffee and so on. Mm. For now, see ya. Okay, it's time to sign a peace deal with Russia. It's not gonna look good, but it's practical. Because I'm taking all their forts, or at least almost all of their forts. I think I took everything, but I'm not sure. Uh, the ones that I could transfer to my subjects I did, uh, the ones that I couldn't I took for myself. And I'm going to destroy them because there is absolutely no need for them. Of course transferring those to my subjects made it so that I could only take less war score than I would be able to otherwise. Uh, st still that is good enough. Okay. Let's get some coring done. It's not going to cost much. I could take more for myself, but I'm about to piece out some more people soon. And the problem here is that... Damn it, that's a, that was a mistake. These guys will now be stuck here in Russia. Won't you? Maybe not. Are you stuck in Russia? How are you not stuck in Russia? Maybe Russia is giving military access to our enemies. Which would be good. I'm not sure how that works exactly. Maybe they were already almost moved out. Um, okay, these guys will stay here. It's a pity, but not really a problem. And the rest is nicely connected. And we have grown some of our subjects. Yeah, this was a mistake. I should have connected these. But I only wanted them so the Russians wouldn't have any forts. And it looks like they don't. Do they? No, only the capital one. So the next one will be swift and easy. Now, Plemkin. We have finally gotten quite a lot of their territory. Um, but we're not in a hurry anymore. Since we're not at war with air anymore. Yeah, the deal with Russia was imperfect. Well, 
because uh, we might get rebels. Russia might get some rebels and they might walk into our territory and do problem and make problems for us. But that probably won't happen. Now, I would like to combine my forces, my ships, and beat up the UK. Uh, but my ships probably wouldn't be able to properly combine. So we'll leave that alone for now. And we're still waiting for the war score to stuck uh, to stack up a bit. Now, as for Corsica and Cyprus, we will deal with them uh, eventually. Okay, anything else? Mm, not really. Oh yes, useless attrition, or rather pointless attrition. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Need to deal with that. I have. Uh, unnecessarily compound you all in the same place. What we're going to do is we're going to attack Ming and then while at war with Ming we're going to keep attacking their tributaries. This way uh, we will have uh, the proper Cassus Belly on everyone and thus we'll be able to not pay duplo power for the provinces we take. And yeah, some wars are coming up and these are gonna be Ottomans and Ming pretty soon. And I think that will be it. Mm, I guess I could theoretically sail my troops over to India and deal with that territory, but I don't think that is the best choice for us. Uh, we should let our troops and subjects uh, rest up a bit. Before we can do that though, we'll need to you know, finish the current wars. So. Yeah, let's let them run and let's let Tlemkin be killed. Tunisian separatists. Uh, oh, that's why you're so eager to give up. Tunis has resurfaced and it will be problematic for you. No matter. Okay, I'll put a cut in because it's gonna take uh, like a year, in game year probably, to finish uh, the wars. We still need the British to surrender to us. Oh, how are the colonial forces doing? Not so well, because I neglected them. I forgot to give them orders, and generals actually as well. Uh, here you go, and here you go. Okay, uh, let's put the cut in. Okay, it's time to sign a peace deal with Britain. Uh, they are exhausted enough, we have enough from the war goal, and we can take quite a lot of their colonial stuff. We'll get um, four or five new colonial nations, and then we'll fight them again. Also, I did take a little bit of territory down south, so we can be better prepared to assault them next time. This is not necessary, but I did want to release Wales. Not sure if it's the best choice ever, but... Um, I think I'm going to do that. I can't take... Oh, I can take something in Ireland. Wait a minute. How did that happen? I thought I couldn't. Well, that changes things. I want this one then. Let's do it like this. Um, well, our stuff will be divided, but it won't really matter. And we can add this to the Empire, then we can add these to the Empire, and maybe release something, who knows. Can I make you release something? Does anything here exist? Are the cores dead? Looks like the cores are dead. Okay, I thought I couldn't take anything here because of the forts, but it seems that is not the case. Which means I'll be able to take more colonial stuff. Now, uh, we won't be coring all the colonial stuff, we'll just core a few, and then colonial nations will be formed. And we can cannot take stuff here because forts, right? Yes. Same here. Okay, so let's just take some more colonial stuff. Do we want to take some coast down here? Or do we want to do more in North America? I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Although, theoretically, if I just neglected this and took all of this, then we wouldn't have to worry about that anymore. Okay, let's let's see if it's possible. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make sure to leave enough to form a colonial nation. I'm not sure if this one will count or if we'll form another one. This is why I'm doing that. Uh, now, this is a different colonial region. 
So we do want it to take five provinces here, so we can get uh, so we can get at least five. So we can get a colonial nation. Mm, and the same goes for Canada. First, let's get rid of these. It would be convenient if we could reach our territory, but if we can close off uh, South America completely, it might be even more convenient. One, two, three, four, five. All in Canada. Okay, so theoretically now... I could take all of this, maybe? Or will that be too many provinces? If we can't take all of them, it's not worth uh, the effort, because... Uh, because the value of taking all of these provinces lies in the convenience of not having to deal uh, with South American colonies of Britain anymore in the future. And it seems we don't have enough points to do that, unless we neglect some colonial nations in the north, or some stuff over here and over here. Do we care? Well, yes, this is a convenient spot to attack Mali from, so I want this one. These, on the other hand, I don't really care about, so let's leave them alone. Hmm, I guess I could get rid of the island here. That's 79. Did I take five each or more? One, two, three, four, five, more. Don't need these. 78, still a bit much. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I think they'll go to this colony, so theoretically we don't have to take them. And I guess I can get rid of Gwynedd. I can take one war score more. So since I can take one war score more, I will. Just one though. Wait a minute, do we have something that costs zero war score? No. Oh right, that'll do it, I think. Although one, two, three, four, five. What if we don't take this one, but take something in here instead? No, that doesn't look like a good idea. This way we'll get rid of South America altogether. Although we might get a little bit too overextended. How overextended am I? 19.4. And this tells me... Wait a minute, what's my absolutism? Almost maximum. I guess I could get some more absolutism by decreasing autonomy somewhere. Decrease autonomy in one province, just one province. No, no. Okay, let's do some super cheap harsh treatment then. Uh, can I do harsh treatment in subjects? No. What else can I do? Hmm, I don't remember. Strengthen government, I guess, but I don't need to. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll just have to take less stuff, I guess. We did take an extra province somewhere, but where was it? Where was the extra province? Oh, no, we didn't. 81 points of our extension, exactly. Huh. Okay, I don't really need this. It's convenient, but not necessary. No, it doesn't give me overextension. Wait a minute, let's, let's swap by overextension. Ulster, that's understandable. Hmm, I'm not sure how to take this. I guess I could limit the amount over here. Those don't count. Weird. Maybe they go directly to... I... Okay, I don't understand. Puno. Where's Puno? Excessive or extension can be horrible for us. I guess I could give Cornwall to someone. 
No, that wouldn't do. Hmm. I'm pretty sure of this will go to the colonial nation immediately. Hmm. Why do some of those give me overextension and some don't? I don't really get it. You know what? Let's just do it. Whatever. We'll be fine. Let's get you one more. Province, send demand. Okay, I'm pretty sure these will immediately go to the colonial nation. Let's unpause for a day. Yes, they did. Okay. That uh, checks out. I do have extra overextension, but why is that? I am not sure. I am not sure. I'll need to deal with those rebels here, of course. Uh, but first, but first, what I need to do is get rid of uh, some... Hmm. I need to get more absolutism, so I'm not horribly overextended. So let's see if we can decrease autonomy anywhere. Seems like I cannot. Oh, we can do that while at war, of course. Yes, 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 makes sense. Hmm. Weird. This really shouldn't be giving me overextension. Okay, if we look at this. Really not certain what should be done. Okay, hmm, but what we can do is start coring the proper provinces. So, I guess um, we can move your capital later. Okay, that's five. And five is enough for a colonial nation. Now let's do five over here. Or six, because there are rebels, so just in case we'll do more. Seven, I think. Okay, now here. Oh, this gives me overextension. Ah, okay, so if they are over a certain amount, they will give me overextension. Um, over a certain amount of development, I guess. Hmm, sort of makes sense, I suppose. Okay, so that's four new colonial nations for me. Anything else? Well, sure. These new provinces over here. I will need to add them to the empire. Also now... Um, I guess I could send these guys over here. And get a fleet assembled. Let's get a fleet assembled. Let's get you over here. All of you. Perfect. Now, our next move should be to sign a peace deal with Klemken, since we already have a call for peace. And that can be devastating. Uh, so, I don't have a free overextension to take any of these for myself. So what I will need to do is to transfer them. Transfer them to some people who might be interested. So, for example, Theodoro can have some. And Friesland and Malta. Okay, let's do Theodoro. Where's Theodoro? Ah, here. Friesland. Malta. I was hoping to go through here. Oh, theoretically, I could do it and just take them for myself. But no, extra overextension is not not worth it. Or rather, this is not worth any extra overextension. Oh, this is your capital, isn't it? Oh, it's suboptimal. 
Okay, let's give this to Murcia. Oh, why am I showing you all of this? Probably shouldn't. Yeah, let's put a cut here.